Hello YouTube. From those who know from my Instagram account, I've been running my eight gallon nano tank for well over a year. kept adding corals to make it more beautiful and more vibrant and I ended up having more SPS corals and the growth on those I have bird's nest, I have Montipora digitata, I have Montecap, I have Stylophora and those guys are growing super fast and I only have one fish, I have a six line res but as the time went on, I realized that the bioload is getting way too heavy for me to be able to maintain that tank. The algae growth, no matter what I do, it doesn't help anymore. And it's super small. I can't even do anything with it. There is no space. So I realized that the time has come to upgrade. So I had two options. First one was Red Sea Reefer 170. I would actually want to have a sump. I used to have a 120 gallon with a sump and I, I do know the benefits of having a sump, but it's way more expensive uh, buying that 170 and I still wanted to get something that has a decent quality. So my second choice was this tank behind of me. It's 40 gallon innovative marine Nouveau Fusion Pro tank. So uh, why I decided to go with this one, apart from being much cheaper, it's that this is all in one tank. People move from one place to another very, very often, especially in Southern California. So I, I realized that this is the best option to go. This is significantly bigger from what I have. I'm not gonna be adding too many corals on top of what I have, but I really, really like the look of 170 with its sleek white cabinet. And, but the only thing I didn't like about it, the height of it, it was around 35 inch, but I wanted something around 40. So when standing next to it, you can have your tank right in front of your eyes. So what I had to do, the only option left to save some money and um, to get what I need is to build my own aquarium stand. So let's go ahead and I'm gonna show you how I did that. It's not perfect, but it does the job and it, it can actually maintain way more load than this tank is. Hello everyone. So starting a new project, building this aquarium cabinet. I'm using two by fours. Okay. All right. So just want to look and show how it all started. So here we go. We have bottom and top boxes ready. And then we're gonna put these The main skeleton of the stand, the aquarium stand, is going to be ready. Pre drilled, applying a little bit of glue for some extra strength. <coughs> so basically, here it is. So here it is, the stand, the main structure. Usually when you have a heavier um, tank, you like to put guides in here to keep some more pressure. We're gonna be applying plywood on top of it, which is gonna have that stabilizing effect to keep it from wobbling on the sides or back and forth. 
So here it is, guys. Take a look. It was kind of challenging. The main point is here to make sure it is leveled, not to have some major problems. But if you do your measurements and everything, so for the sake of security, it's better to have four screws in here to have a better grip. Yeah, I applied a little bit wood glue as well. All right, so let's proceed to the next step. So we have the guides in place. That's going to hold the main weight of the aquarium. This thing is already pretty heavy, which is good. It's pretty tall. It's 40 inch tall. That's why it needs to be heavy. Not to wobble around. the sides, the panels. So for that sake, we're gonna use jigsaw, measure, do your pre-measurements here. It's a little bit sketchy, but still. So yeah. guys so this is the first layer of the oil-based paint that I applied on the cabinet it took me three days to build this thing of course there are a lot of imperfections and stuff but at least it looks not bad from the distance so when the aquarium goes on top of it, it's going to be not bad at all. Of course, I don't have a door. But I kept this part for the future in case if I need it. So I'm going to keep this part in the back a little bit further from the wall. So I can put some stuff in the back, some wirings and stuff to hide in there. And this is going to be the front part of it. And this is just the first layer of the paint. I'm contemplating whether to put a gloss to send paper it eventually and then put a gloss on, on top of all those layers or not. We'll see how it goes. Mm -hmm. 